Hi, I just wanted to pull together the only three dreams of presidents that I've had um, because one has had Obama, one was Trump, and one was Jimmy Carter. <laughs> that one surprised me the most. Um, so it was about a year and a half ago where I had a dream that um, President Obama had been at a party in a garden and then walked back into a room and he was wearing a cardboard kitty birthday crown and on the crown all the points were turned under except for two at the back which looked like little horns and he walked back into a small office where a, a small group of people were waiting for him and he was smiling i dreamt about i don't know three to five weeks ago of donald trump standing in front of a large crowd which i couldn't see at all but i knew was there and it was quite large and he was giving a speech very relaxed uh, on a stage um, kind of wandering comfortably around from behind the podium towards the crowd and I was near him I could tell and there was no protection whatsoever between me or the crowd and him that's what was most prominent in my dream that he was vulnerable unprotected and either physically could come to harm or it could mean symbolically you know his administration then, most recently, a few nights ago, I had a dream in which I was at a, a, a gathering, a casual kind of gathering, and um, a president had been in the chair and I'd been talking to him. He was sitting in like a lawn chair, like an Adirondack chair with wide slats, uh, kind of leans back a bit, and he got up and left and I can't remember who it was. And then Jimmy Carter sat down in that same chair and I said, hello, Mr. President, and I shook his hand, and then I, and he was sort of slouched down in it. I remember that, kind of slouched down in this Adirondack chair, and I, I said, uh, I don't know if it's appropriate to ask you this, but I feel as though attack on Israel is imminent, and he just sort of raised his eyebrows. He didn't look overly excited. He just raised his eyebrows and said, attack on Israel is always imminent, and that was it. So the startling thing to me was Jimmy Carter and talking about Israel and attack. And I don't know how these things work, but all it made me think was, wouldn't it be so out of left field, out of the blue and wild, if in these peace negotiations with Israel, the United States drew in Jimmy Carter in the final phases because he is so associated with the past attempts to bring peace uh, and if they brought him in to either be a figurehead or actually put the, you know, final signature, signatures on it, that would just be astonishing because I know all eyes are pretty much on people like Trump and Obama and Kushner and Macron and Merkel and, you know, all these leaders on the world stage um, to see who will be the one. You know, I don't know if we have to be the one who signs it or, as people have been saying, confirms the covenant, you know, later puts it into practice. But I just wanted to mention that because that really startled me. I'm sorry I can't remember the president who'd been sitting in the chair, but then to see Jimmy Carter sit there and say, attack on Israel is always imminent. Um, I just wanted to report on that. God bless everybody who is watching and waiting and longing for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Scripture is perfect, it's being fulfilled, and we have the glorious honor of watching the Word of God come to pass in our lifetime. Hallelujah.